Hello, in the video coming up, we'll look at some of the great new features that you get once you update your Chromebook to Chrome OS 104. So I've just updated my Chromebox and my Chromebook to Chrome OS 104 and the new features are great. Now if you watch my channel, some of these new features that I show you, you may already use by enabling flags, but now a lot of them features where you had to use to enable flags, such as the app launcher and the calendar, they all come as default. But there is a few caveats to that because that was the case on my Chromebox. However, on my Chromebook it wasn't. So we'll look at that and then you can, if you've got the same issue, you'll know what to do, how to fix it. But the new features are great and I'm going to show you them now, so let's have a look. So the first thing you'll notice, as soon as you update to Chrome OS 104, when you get to the login screen, you'll notice straight away that the actual login screen is a different menu. It's on the light theme, and I quite liked it. It was a completely different look at first. I was like, wow, took back a bit. But the reason, I think the reason why they've done that is to show you that that's one of the new features, but you can obviously change it back to the dark theme if you want to. So let's have a look. Okay, so if I just lock the screen and you'll, you should see what I mean. So lock there, there you go. So here you'll see that it's actually um, using a light theme and it's quite nice, I quite like that. If you don't want it, you can obviously just change it back and I'll show you. But that is the first thing you'll notice when you log on. And let me just log back in. There we go. So from here, as you can see down here, you've got switch between dark and light theme, right click on the desktop and select wallpaper style. So this is one of the first things that I love. This is now available on here. Um, so you can change the theme from here. So here you'll see you've got the normal options of auto hide and shelf position, but you've got set wallpaper and style. So click on there. And here you can see you've got the light and the dark theme. So it's really easy to get to. So we're current, it's currently on auto. Um, if we change it to light, that is what I'm currently using as well. So I'm not too sure where the auto comes through, whether it uses a different theme depending on the time of the day. Not 100% sure, I've not looked into it. But there we go, we've got the light theme there and you can also add the dark theme. And the dark theme's quite dark, which is which is nice. They're both totally different. Now, obviously, that also means when you log in, if you're using a dark theme, you'll have a dark login screen. Or also, it changes these menus as well here. So I actually prefer, I do like the dark theme, but because the normal Chrome OS was always quite dark for a while, it's quite nice to have the difference. And I, I did like the light theme, but it was never perfect because you couldn't see all of the text in some of the notifications, for example. But they've fixed all that now. And as you can see, we'll leave it on light theme. It looks really nice, I think, personally, on the menu here. So another thing here you've got as well, you've got wallpaper. If you just click on the picture, you can see you've got all the different images to choose from, but you can also choose from Google Photos as well. Just simply click on Google Photos. This is a new install, not using my personal account, so there's nothing in here. But if you was using your own personal account, I'm sure you've got loads of Google Photos and you can choose one of them to use for your desktop background. So I'll just quickly show you, just to quickly, that's the only one I've got on here at the moment. And there we go. So you can change it to that. So let's just change it back to one that looks decent. I'll just go over default one. Um, it's quite summary at the moment, so let's go a bit summary. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now, one other thing you'll notice, and again, if you watch my channel, you will see, you might have already been using this through an actual flag, but you no longer need a flag, is that you've got a calendar now down here, and it's separated, so you've got the time, there, if you click on there, you get the settings like there. Or if you click on there, the actual date, first of all, it gives you a date straight away, which is great if you're doing shopping, internet shopping, you wanna know a date and check things, it just makes it so much easier. And if you click on there as well, you get the calendar. And on the calendar, if you click on each one, it gives you a link to open Google Calendar, which is really good. And also, if you add entries in that date, it would show you them as well. So that's good. Um, here we've got settings and that just takes you into your date and time settings like that. Now, another way you used to be able to get the calendar, let's see if you can still do it. If you click here, click there, 
that also takes you to the calendar as well. So you've got two different ways to get to the calendar. So the calendar now is available as default. You no longer need to enable flags. Now with the app launcher, it's a bit different. So I read, uh, updated my Chromebox and I, I didn't have the flags on my Chromebox intentionally and it automatically updated to this new menu, which I much prefer. Some people might not, then that's fair enough, but I much prefer this menu to the old menu. Um, but with my actual Chromebook, and I'm using the Asus CX-5, when I did the update, I was quite shocked it was using the old menu, which is really strange. So although they've um, launched Chrome OS 104, it appears with some devices by default, it's using this new app launcher menu, and maybe others aren't. So if you have updated to Chrome OS 104 and you've got the old menu, if you just simply go to Chrome here, just to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, hit return, and you'll see here productivity experiment app launcher. And this is what I needed to do. So I've gone with enabled without continue. Enabled without continue, what that means is if you click here, you'll see there's not any extra links up here. And I personally don't like them links. I think they look a bit ugly because they don't have, they generally don't have an icon to go with them. And they're essentially just the files that you've used last. So they will always appear here. So if you like them, then just change this to enabled. If you don't want them links, change it to enabled without continue. So that's how you put it on there if you don't get this menu. But by default now, most people hopefully will just get this menu. Obviously, if you don't want the menu, you should still have the option. You'd have to check each time it was different, but you should still have the option to simply change this and change it to disabled. Okay, so there are the options there. So that's just to show you that. Okay, so some of the options you've got with the app launcher menu. On here, you can right click, and some of these features would have been there anyway, but if you've not used this launcher menu before, you may not be aware of them. So you've got sort by name, and that sorts it by the actual name. So it could go A, B, C, well, numbers first, and A, B, C, down to Z. Or you can sort by color, which I've always found quite bizarre, because I'm thinking, what, 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 what's the point in that? But it's supposed to um, sort it by color, I, I assume, the only color I can see is from the icon, but that doesn't necessarily look like it's sorted by color anyway, or it's tried its best to. I think that's just a bizarre option personally, but who knows. Okay, so you've got sort by name as well, and you've got an undo there if you want to. And these are the ones that you've gone to last. They're not the quick links, the continue where, doff, where, where left off links, they're totally separate. Uh, but that's all how it looks there. And the menu, you can so much easier get to everywhere now. There's no more having to mess about and organize the menu. It's much, much nicer, personally speaking, like this. But like I said, if you don't like it, you can disable it for now. Whether that will be the case in the future, I'm not too sure. What I really like is the dark theme and the light theme. I'm glad it's so in, it's, it's there now and it just works. And you can easily just change it by there. Just go into dark and then you get a totally different look which is really nice and it changes everything here as well. So personally, I'm gonna stay with my light theme for a bit because I quite like it. Actually, I'll leave it on auto and see what happens, um, how that works going forward. Okay, and then we've got the screensaver here. So I've not used it on this Chromebook, so let's turn it on. And then here, you will see that you've got Google Photos again and you've got the art gallery and you've got Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on where you live, you can change that as well. So on the art gallery, if you click on there, you've got them. So we'll leave it on there for now, but you do also have the option here to choose Google Photos. But like I said, because this is a new install, I've got no Google Photos on there, so I can't really show you. But you'll see here, these are features that were available with flags, but now they're actually available by standard, which is great. So you've got the standard slideshow, which is nice, and that will just go through the pictures, so when you're in Screensaver, it will just go through the pictures and it will show you the time and, and your weather where you're living as well. But you've also now got Field of Breeze and you've also got Float On By. And they just give you a different, it's a slightly animated look and they're quite nice. So if you want to change your Screensaver, you've got that option now to do that as well. And up here, you will see when your screen is idle, show photos, time, weather and media info. If you wanted to, you could turn that off 
like that, okay? But then, personally speaking, I'd much prefer it on, and I'm gonna put it on Field of Breeze. Okay, so they are some of the features that you now get by default with Chrome OS 104. You may have already been using them with flags. If you have updated your Chromebook and you haven't got the launcher for whatever reason, like I said, you can just go into the flags and change that. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.